Hey everyone, welcome back to Garner Reviews and today we're going to be unboxing some awesome looking tools from DRPD. Of course we got the uh, Fiskars Compact Pro Utility Knife here, love this thing. Carry it with me daily, gets used daily, and I have not found a single fault with it. But enough of that, let's get into the package here. DRPD does a great job packaging everything up. It always comes well wrapped and protected. So first tool here, let's pop this open and see what we have. Now this is exciting. This is part of the PB Swiss uh, tools that I've been getting for my electrical bag. Now this is a slim line insulated set and it simply just kind of locks into a handle and it's got their it's the nice swiss grip um, material like the santaprene on the handle portion but it's in that classic grip style so this was the posi oh and it came wrapped up with my other tool here now this is the pb swiss you can see it here pb 6510 and it's the r100 this is their insider ratcheting screwdriver now I ended up getting this because I wanted to carry this on my person or in my uh, Vito MP1X and I didn't want to have bits on the side anymore. I was starting to lose them even with the decent holders that I had. So this is a way that I can carry a screwdriver, have plenty of bits on hand and get that awesome ratcheting mechanism. Now you can hear that ratcheting mechanism. It is absolutely wonderful swiss made check out the bit storage in here you simply press up flips down and you have a great assortment of course you could change those out and put whatever you wanted in there but of course pb swiss their bits are just immaculate they are great they have this awesome uh, finish work on them they each kind of have their own unique color and the magnet on this thing is ridiculous. This is very similar to the other PB Swiss ratcheting screwdriver I had. The handle is different, it's not the Santaprene. It's a hard plastic, but it's in that Swiss grip uh, form factor. It feels very good in the hands, and this mechanism for opening it is very smooth, but feels like it's going to uh, hold up well. So again, you get, let's see here, 10 different bits all locked in here press down now I'm wondering let's see if this will pop open with some good shaking nothing at all it's holding in place very nice didn't try and open up so I think this is gonna be a great addition to my Vito Pro pack all right next up let's see let's get this brown packing paper out of the way and what else do we have let's get into this here Here we go, some bit sets from PB Swiss. Now, this is kind of cool because I think these are kind of exclusive sets to DRPD. If you guys haven't checked out their website, definitely go and check it out. They carry nothing but premium tool brands um, and they've got some cool tools on there for sure. Now I've got four different ones here. And again, I think these are kind of exclusive sets to DRPD. Uh, you could certainly build out some similar I like this big case design. It's kind of interesting. We'll see how it works. It's got a nice little like pocket or belt clip there. And there's plenty of room in here if you wanted to run a longer bit. Uh, some of the sets are longer. I decided to go with a quarter inch pretty much because I just need them to work in that PB Swiss ratcheting screwdriver I just showed you. I'd, I'd prefer the nice quarter inch size. Simply press down on here and it opens up, kind of butterflies open, very nice. And check out that set, beautiful. If you've got some variety of Phillips, you've got some Robertson, and you've got some slotted. They'll simply just pull out really nice and easy, yet it's held in there firmly. And you can remove the actual red bit block here if you wanna do uh, swap it into a different case or you wanted it stored differently. But it is in there snug. 
so no concerns with this falling out ever. Check that out there. Even on the top side of the bit case, you have a spot for a uh, bit holder if you wanted to have one of those in there. But check those out. Look at the finish on those. Just immaculate. The printing is nice and clear. Seriously, I don't know if there are bitter, better, excuse me. Honestly, I don't know if there are better bits made than some of the PB Swiss. Uh, these are just phenomenal. They're precise. And so far, they seem incredibly durable. So that's number one. Let's do a little shake test here. No dislodging, nothing's loose. That's a good sign. So we've got bit case number two here. We're gonna peel this sticker off. And hey, I just wanna say this real quickly. Thank you, PB Swiss. These peel off cleanly. There's no, oh, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Almost no, no tearing and almost no residue, but look at how quickly that cleaned off. Very nice. That is one of my great annoyances is trying to get a sticker or some sort of label off of something that you clearly need it off of and it sticks and just makes a gummy mess. Let's see if I can do this with no tearing. Look at that. Beautiful, clean, no residue left over. That's how a label should be put on. Good job, PB Swiss. So I've got four different sets here. I kind of had a nice little mix set in the beginning. I'd also had two different um, hex solutions, um, both in millimeter and SAE, and then I had some Torx. And I believe it was the security Torx that I ended up getting. I kind of like those because obviously they work just fine in the standard Torx. Let's pop this open though. So here's my hex keys. Excuse me, I guess I should say hex bits. These are definitely not hex keys. So this is my SAE set right here. Look at that purple finish. Great, get great range of sizes there as well. Here's the next one. Again, this is security Torx. So it's got that missing center. If you guys do any sort of facility maintenance, you've probably seen these. Um, and I like these because again, it's dual purpose. It's gonna take care of the security Torx, but it's also gonna do anything in standard Torx. You wouldn't wanna throw one of those like in an impact driver because I'm assuming that the, uh, the strength is reduced a little bit, but again, this is all designed for my actual bit holder screwdriver. And here is my metric set. Look at those last two. Those are monstrous. It's good to have them on board though. And you can see they're not fully seated and that's just due to the nature of the size. But I still don't think these are gonna come out. They uh, fit in there very nice and tight. Again, great range of sizes and a great little snap close case. Next up. This is an awesome set I have been wanting to show you guys for a while. Let me just double check. Oh yeah, some goodies from DRPD. I've always got some stickers in here, which I really, it's fun. It's fun to collect them, especially from all your favorite brands and your order information. So there's PB Swiss tools. And of course the awesome, I love the green color on that, the DRPD stickers, it looks fantastic. So with all that out and empty, we are good to go with the last box here. These I have been really wanting to check out for a long time. I finally bit the bullet. Because honestly, once you guys see these, you'll understand why. So this is made in Switzerland. Here is the model number. Now this is the impact or I guess you maybe call it demolition or some sort of chisel driver from PB Swiss. So it's got a built-in kind of tang through design so that you can smack these on different things with your hammer and break stuff loose. Now, as you guys know, this happens a lot with just your standard screwdrivers and it's a great way to destroy the handle. But you get something like a demolition driver like this or maybe you call it a chisel driver uh, there's probably some distinction there, but check that out. Look at that thing. It is robust and is ready for work. So you have that strike cap on this end. 
and you still get the labeling, which is awesome. You have a hex end, so if you need to put a wrench on and get a little extra torque, you can do that. And the PV Swiss handles are definitely my favorite. That Santa Preen is just a great material. I love the way um, it's textured and it's got some grippiness to it, but it's not overdone. And check out that tip here. That's one of the things I love about the PV Swiss slotted drivers is it comes down and it's not just like a typical wedge. It actually comes down to a flat portion, so it fits in a slotted screwdriver so much better or excuse me, it fits in a slotted screw so much better than just the typical wedge. And it is just so nice. Now I'm a little bit honestly surprised to see that design built into even their striking driver. So PB Swiss must have some serious confidence in the strength of that tip. Now here's one, the Phillips one. Look at that thing. Beautiful grind on all of that, precise nice stripe cap and i like that there's the distinction you have the yellow ends here for your phillips and then you have the plain black for the slotted which is a nice feature so let's get in through the rest of the set here this is a great set it is a little pricey but again these are demolition or you know a, really a striking screwdriver um, so you've got some extra robustness and some extra material in there and I definitely think it is worth the cost. If you've got to strike these, break something loose, or use them in ways that you shouldn't be using a typical screwdriver, this is what you want. Again, here's the number four slotted. Beautiful grind on those. Here we go into a Phillips number two. And I will have all this stuff linked through DRPD um, and I may even link it elsewhere if you guys don't want to buy through them but um, I definitely recommend it they're a great company and I've had no issues working with them all right last couple here now that they're slotted the other excuse me and another Phillips uh, one of the interesting things that you will note if you get into some of the PB Swiss drivers is the handle size does change with the size of the uh, screw. So if that's something that you appreciate, uh, just be aware. If not, just know that it does change. So your larger Phillips and your larger slotted or any of them, you are gonna get a bigger and kind of larger handle. Uh, I don't mind it. I think it fits really well, even the largest ones. And then of course the smaller ones like this slotted here, it's got a much smaller handle. This is the number three. Again, you can see that you've got that awesome grind on there. And that really does change the way it fits in a slotted screw. Clear identification, nice strike cap. Seriously, these are just so nice. These are all made in Switzerland. They all have their own unique serial number. I mean, these things are just to me, they are next level cool. They are phenomenal uh, screwdrivers. I don't know that I have one out there that I would recommend more. And that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I guess I could you know, title this video PB Swiss because that was um, my entire order. I love their screwdrivers. I love the tools that I have from PB Swiss. None of it has let me down or disappoint. It really does feel like the nicest um, option if, if pb swiss makes it you're going to get something very high quality so if you guys have any questions or uh, any comments please drop them down below and i will try and respond to those as quickly as possible thanks everyone and i'll catch you in the next one